Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We're in episode 21. And in this episode, I want to clean up this mess here. As you can see, things are standing all over the world. And we can't have that anymore. And our tractors have worked so hard. As you can see, our money's dropped from $96,000 to $74,000. It's because I had to plant this. I had to do soil samples. As you can see, we've got wheat in the ground. I'll show you just now. And I had to buy a lot of seed and fertilizer with it. As you can see, I've got extra fertilizer. We've got some over here. And we've got seeds. Now, this is from previous episodes. This herbicides and this here. This is what I just purchased. Hmm, what a nice deal, but before we carry on, what's in the used sale? Oh, wow, a windrower, hmm, for 29,000, the GA15131, what's the normal price on this windrower? Let's see where it is. There it is, $62,000. And they won $29,000. I think I'm going to purchase this unit now. I think that's a great deal. Then we have a windrower. What's glitching here? Let me reload this quickly. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so I've restarted the game. <laughs> it seems there was a little bit of a problem. Let's check quickly what's at the store that I can't purchase that unit. There's nothing here. Uh, let's try again after reloading in. I don't know what happened there. We don't have any leased items. Oh, there it is. We've just purchased ourselves a nice windrower. So I think I'm going to put a work on this. Let him drive up there. And then we're going to start cleaning up the yard a little bit. Do a bit of landscaping. Um, I think... Okay, without checking that now. Okay, let me put the worker then I'll show you quickly. I'm just going to let him drive over here. Okay. Then we will quickly go over to our field. Haha, <laughs> see our wheat field there. Now I didn't plant or do soil samples here because we've got that grass in the middle here. First I want to harvest this otherwise I'll destroy the crops here. So we need to get this sort. Okay this is fully done. This needs to be sorted. So I still need to do soil samples on all those. I'm going to expand that. If we need to change this to a different crop then I can just put like a pathway in between them and split the two fields. I think that's a great deal for us. So there goes the worker. He's off on his merry way. So I want to see what we can do on the farm to change things around a little bit. Because on the farm now it's looking a bit messy. Everything is standing all over the world here. Yeah? And it's not looking too good for us. So I need to move all this equipment out of the way. So while I'm talking I'll be doing that. Maybe we should... I didn't really want to put a shed up here. Uh, I'm thinking what if we clean out in there and put a shed up in there potentially. Um, or just park the vehicles because we're still going to create our empire and... Yeah, I don't want to mess things up there now. I'm not too sure what we're going to do with this part here. Because we're not going to be using this. Um, well, we might as well landscape it out. Get it to look a bit neater than what it is at the moment. Because at the moment it really looks disgusting. To be honest with you. And then we can move some of the equipment in there. Let's tend to that first, I think. Okay, so we jump out here, get our harvest out of there. I think we're going to landscape this out neatly. 
and potentially put a nice shed or something in here. Well, I don't think there's a shed big enough to take the header in its own. That's my doggy going off in the background, as you can hear. You all know her by now. For those who don't know who's new to my channel, <laughs> that's my dog in the background. She's barking at the neighbor's cats. Damn, I wish I could, we can do this. But first things first, let's do a bit of landscaping here. Let's get that sorted. I'll clean up the yard because it looks like a mess. As you can see. So I think we're going to be painting. And I really want to put some asphalt in here. I think asphalt will look good. Let's get that sized up a little bit. I don't want to go over the border there because once I mess up then I'm done for that looks neat-ish I think I just need to be careful here now okay we are there there okay, I think we're on the fence line there so I don't want to push it and go out of the fence line like I almost did now like I just did there. <laughs> well, it doesn't look too bad, even if I must say so myself. Yeah, that looks... Now it's starting to look like a... A yard. I just don't want to go into our field, because then I must landscape that again. I just want to get this a little bit perfect, yeah? Uh, okay, that's not too bad. We can have a little bit of overgrown grass there. There, yeah, I'm messing it up. <sighs> okay, so let's go for dirt. And yeah. Then I will place grass over it again. Well, doesn't look too bad though. Okay, so grass. Then we'll go do this. Why can't I just go a little bit bigger? Okay. Then we can just plant... Oh, why did I go out there? Uh, landscaping... I think it's under plants, meadow, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Fix this disarray of mine. Oh, and I just went into the field. I'll have to plow that out and get that sorted out again. That little bit there. But not a big problem. So. Yeah, this looks much better. Much, much better. Sorry guys, I just want to jump into this tractor. Get this hooked up to our new windrower. Or not new, but used windrower. And then we'll take that window down to the farm and I want to see what sheds we've got for our equipment. Or if we can't have sheds, then I will just, I think, do what we have to do and let the equipment stand outside. Hello Amanda. How are you, baby? Okay, so while I'm here, let's repair this unit and also get that sorted out of the way completely repair I'm not gonna repaint this 
it's pointless I just wanted to repair this unit so the tractor is all neat and dandy now I'm going to set the worker to take this back to the farm and we can continue at the farm and see what we can get going there so if we can just fix this up put the worker maybe there yeah okay now to see if we've got shit sorry if I'm jumping all over the place here but okay for let's see sheds the sheds I was thinking about this could have worked but then I can't park anything else in there uh, we don't want anything with solar for now uh, is this too big yeah body that's a bit too big wow we've only got 31k left you know what maybe now won't be the best time to put up a shed so I'm thinking maybe we just park everything in there neatly just to clean up the yard because wow it's been a mess out here well it looks much better in there even if I must say so myself it looks professional so the next cell date if I'm not mistaken will be in November that will be the eggs once we've sold the eggs then the next sell date will be for the soybean in June so yes we we have to get going on everything because like I said previously I don't want this to become too repetitive because yeah it's not nice this one is cruising along on its merry own time okay while we are uh let's drive over this way this stone picker is a bit heavy for this tractor i do know but we're working on it so i've eventually got my earphones microphone stand microphone everything sorted out and dialed in um, if the volume level is not suitable for you as a viewer um, if the tractor noises and everything is a bit too soft or the any suggestions on that i'm open for suggestions just leave a comment on my youtube channel and i will definitely look into it to get that fixed up okay, so that's nice and clean i certainly do want to get this yard sorted out properly now all the other equipment as far as i know i've washed off so yes we'll be cracking on all the big pieces of kits i want to back it up in there like the stone picker it's quite large uh let's back this up in here i think it's gonna look much better if all the equipment's in here let's see how far the tractor is okay, I'm gonna cancel the worker come here buddy well he's hammering it I'm just glad we've expanded those fields in the previous episode so that's gonna be a good thing for us I don't know if that planter will fit through this little gate here but we'll see this is quite a large piece of kit well now we've got the windrower all I need now is a tether and a mowing system but we'll get to that because i do want to create a grass field for us so that we can start off with the cows i do need to get the milk going but with the milk we're going to need liquid silos and yeah that's pricey okay that's in there neatly now the piece of kit that i really want to fit in there is the planter and that cultivator now we've got trailers and everything that goes with it let's hope this fits baby i don't think it's gonna well the kits that don't fit it's just to get it out 
to not to destroy the other crops there, but maybe I'll landscape that little corner there. Now the planter I'll put over here, it's not that large. Yeah, that fits there perfectly. Sorry if I'm driving in third person, but I want all of you to see what I'm busy doing here. Now I think our plow. I did buy this plow. Oh yes, I bought it off the used market. The only problem is I need still need to sell the old one. I don't think this is going to fit. Wow, it does. Okay. Uh, let's put this over there. We've still got the old little plow to go and sell, but we'll get to that pretty shortly. Don't bump the fence. Farm some deep. Whoa, don't fold. Okay, you just drop it down. Oh, it's got a stand. Yikes, I nearly unfolded that and pushed all the other equipment away. Okay, the last big piece of kit is this one here. This is our mulcher, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's our mulcher. So we'll put that there and then we'll see where we can put the rest of the items because I don't want to clunk everything up and struggle to get items out. Oh, I just bumped it. I don't want to struggle to move some of our items around the farm. Uh, let's get that roller. Oh. I must say, it takes so long with that roller to get going, it's not even funny. This is our cultivator. A lot of people ask me, why did we use, why did we get this cultivator? The problem is, I needed this cultivator because if you use any other cultivator, it does not allow the stones to come out properly. Put that down there. Yeah, that big red thing, there's our mulcher. The unit that I've got on the tractor now is our roller. That we use to roll the fields. Or the seeds into the ground so that it can germinate properly. So yeah, already the farm is starting to look so nice now. I'm going to leave this little piece of kit here because I need to go and sell it. I'm going to hook onto this unit. The only stuff that we've got left to move is this and the baler. And that trailer that you can see in the background. And one or two of those trailers. The water tank, I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, the baler we're really going to use, so I might as well back our baler into this corner here. Mind you, with the straw, you know what, let me park it neatly, because with the straw we're going to use it quite a lot. It's such a nice piece of kit to have on the farm, especially if you're doing wheat harvests. Nearly bumped it into the fence there. That's why I rather decided not rectify the situation. Takes a while to detach. <gasps> Nearly. <laughs> oh my golly, lower that down properly. Now this is what the farmyard should look like all our equipment here it looks so much better I just need to pick up that weight move that one plow uh, I'll move that just now why can't I let me do this I need to sell that plow still
as you can see we've got square bales in the background uh, I leased a another baler just so that we can have less bales just to get that done quickly because as you know I had to rush to get the plowing done I'm gonna put this next to our tent here yeah, this is suitable right here out of my way yeah, it looks neat there okay so now to back this trailer into here that's our bale trailer I want to have it here I should have put it there in that corner, but it's fine. Because we're not going to use a windrow for now. Not yet. There we go. And I don't want to park everything there by the tent. Unless off screen I move these two and I put the bale trailer straight where they are standing. And I put those two little pieces of kits in there. But that I can do off screen. It's not a huge dilemma so the only pieces of item or the only items that I still need to move is the front loader attacher no. I've realized on the front of the tractor it does not show the attacher there on this weight I don't know why can't explain it but it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, this is looking great. Okay, now I'm going to put the weight down because we don't always need the weight. It's only when I use the heavier items that I will need, require the use of the weight. I'm thinking here yeah, now. I already see where I'm going to make a change quickly. Because I think this is going to annoy me a little bit. This long thing standing the way it is. I'm just going to pull it here. Like this. I do apologize if the camera angles are annoying you. I'm really trying not to swerve around too much with the camera angles. So let me get this white, put this in there. I don't know why the three point ditch in the front is glitching out now. No, wrong one. Detach the rear, that's it. I mean this yard was a little bit of a mess now this is not our yard it's a temporary yard because as you all know I want to build an empire and for us to be able to do that we need money big big money but we'll get to the money as well the money factor that's it a place for my tractor there I just want to straighten the that unit there then I'll quickly bring our little tractor just to come pick up the front attacher I might even move all of the liquids into our little yard there for now but things are starting to look up now while we're at it, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do click on the subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it. Please also click on the like button. It will just assist me with the algorithm. So please support me by doing that. It will really help me a lot. Okay. 
And our yard is fixed up and looking much better. Okay, now. That will annoy me as well. But we're going to fix it up quickly. Did I not detach from this unit yet? No, I haven't. So let me lower the weight here quickly. So that we can attach the weight on the rear end. I've received a few comments from members asking me, am I going to sell this tractor? No, I'm not. Because they're only willing to offer me $2,000 for it, even if repaired. And that to me is a waste of money because I can use this tractor while I sell it for $2,000. Now I was thinking of moving these seeds around, but I'm not going to do that. Because when we need to refill, I can just bring the tractor out here and refill on the outside here. Why move everything in now? Because it looked bad out here. And I didn't enjoy watching it look like a mess there. Uh, let me make a U-turn here. Yeah? I want to drop the forks because I want to go fetch the bucket quickly. And then when I come back, I'll put the forks back on the unit. Yeah, that's where I want that. We don't want a bucket standing around the middle of nowhere. Now, that wage payment was for the two workers that I've set off to go and fetch our windrower. That looks much better, even if I must say so myself. It's not the best in the world, but for now a temporary place to put all our stuff. It's much better than looking at that clunky yard outside there. So now I will attach to the forks. The pallet forks. That's it. That looks much better. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, guys. I'm still a bit sick. But getting better. So yeah, this looks much, much, much better, even if I must say so myself. It's not the most ideal. I know stuff standing all over the place here. But at least we've done a yard cleanup, because really I was so fr I was getting frustrated every time I looked at the yard if you look at the yard outside here now doesn't that look much better though so maybe I'll keep this here for now but pretty soon this will be gone as well I wonder if we try to get rid of that what color we can use that matches the painting grid what do we have here animal mud I don't think it's animal mud nope clearly not dirt yeah that looks like it okay so I know this is gonna use a bit of our money up but that's fine let's clear this up because I'm so tired of the grass here and everything looking so disorganized. Well, I'm happy with that. So now we've cleaned up here. That looks much better when you enter here. Yeah, so we can use this as a turnaround area while we're working or potentially in the future put something else in there we'll see how it goes but for now this is what the new yard looks like for now it's a temporary place to place all our items in but we'll get something else going and we'll make it look much better in the future so that's going to be it for this episode our episode of cleaning up the yard. So the next episode you'll see me harvest this. And prepare that 
spot there. Let me just show you quickly. Just run, just watch for the scrub here. We'll harvest this and then we'll plow that out, the grass, and we'll get that sorted while we plow this out. This little piece here that I accidentally messed up now, this little bit, as you can see, that will fix up. But that's going to be it for this episode. If you've liked this episode, please do click on that like button. If you want to leave a comment, please be my guest. If you want to share this video, please feel free to do so. Please do not forget to click on that subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it. If you don't, I'll send aliens to your house. I'm just joking. But click on that subscribe button. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching everybody. See you in the next one. Cheers.